Alright guys, today uh, this video is going to be on the Galaxy Note 3 and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install a ROM on this thing. So there's a couple prerequisites obviously. Um, I just did a video on how to install SafeStrap on this thing so you're going to need that. Uh, you do need to be on the latest uh, build or leak build I guess you would say which is NC2 right there's the build number. Um, obviously you're going to have to have root access with Super Sue right here. I got root. And you're going to have to have Safe Strap installed. Right there is Safe Strap. This version of Safe Strap is version 3.72. And obviously you're going to have that in all, all, everything like that on there. Um, besides that, you're going to have to download the ROM. So this ROM we're going to show you how to install is called Biggins ROM V3. And um, right there. It's actually made by a developer named, or senior member I should say, at least according to the, well, the original post. Um, his name is Deuce Biggins. So it looks really cool. I'm going to check it out today. So like I said, you're going to have to have all those prerequisites. Right here is the ROM. Um, now you can open it up, but I'm not going to open it up. But right there it is, and very, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and flash that in SafeStrap right now. So to get into SafeStrap, once you have it installed, just uh, go ahead and do a restart. And this will power down the device, and then should be putting you right into um, SafeStrap. Well, not directly, you'll have to hit the menu on Reboot. So um, again, we're going to have the custom status right there because I have root access. The device isn't fully, fully official stock Galaxy Note 3. Um, and then you should see the splash screen. At the splash screen, go ahead and hit the recovery button right there. And then that's going to get us into um, safe strap recovery, which is based on twerp recovery or team win recovery project. Okay, so we're in recovery. Um, first thing you're going to do is come in here and swipe across and create an Android backup. Um, I would suggest storing it on the external SD card, which you can pick from right here, internal or external. Um, now I've already done this step, so I'm not going to sit here and go through it. You can see right here I have a, a stock and a date of just actually a couple minutes ago I just made this backup. So I have a backup of my stock system. So at this point, ROM slots, which you normally use on here, are not functioning. And this ROM only gets installed to um, the stock slot, which you're on right now. See at the top it says in red, ROM slot stock. So basically to install this, it's pretty easy. You just go ahead and um, back up, go to wipes, swipe across. And this is going to do a wipe data factory reset. Go back, back again. And then go to installs, and I gotta go find my um, ROM here. Here we go. Should be in here. Should be in downloads. I think that's where I put mine. Downloads, and then Biggins right there. Make sure it's listed, which it is right there. You can see it. And then um, we're just gonna go ahead and swipe across. Now it does say it's warning. You know, it's everything's in red in here. It's like warning, warning flashing this you could hurt your system blah blah you know so just be prepared um, if by any chance this ROM messes your device up or you have a bad flash or something like that you're going to have to probably flash the NC2 um, firmware if you can't get back in a safe strap you should be able to get in a safe strap and go ahead and restore your Android backup that's why it's there but if you have some kind of major issue um, you may be stuck with a firmware flash and actually lose root access. So, um, like I said, there are dangers in this. That's why I never ever flash my stock ROM slot. But this is the options we're at right now because ROM slots are not functional at this point with the version of SafeStrap we're on. All right, so this is going to install. It is about a gig and a half uh, zip. I think it's uh, 1.4 uh, gigs. Um, so it's going to take a little bit to install, so let's just give it a second here. Alright, so here you go. You guys can see that it has um, installed correctly. Uh, everything looks good. It says enjoy, blankety blank. So from here, I mean, you can go home 
like right here and look at this and then do reboot system or you could have reboot system on that last page it really doesn't make any difference so this is going to be our first boot up with uh, Biggins ROM V3 um, I think there's one bug in it with gallery and, and, and changing your wallpaper but besides that everything should be functional there you can see safe strap still there so if there is a bad flash you can get right back into recovery right here and do your restore your Nandroid backup and you'll be back and running first boot up here is probably going to take up to five minutes so there you go the Samsung uh, boot animation has changed from the Verizon yucky ucky to just Samsung like it a lot Verizon shit get that out of here um, so very very cool so let this boot and I'll show you guys this ROM as soon as it boots up alright so here we go this is your startup um, this is the Galaxy S5 looking um, startup here, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm just going to kind of skip through all this. Yeah, what are we talking about here? Diagnostics, I understand. Provide diagnostics, okay, no thanks. I mean, like I said, I'm just going to skip through this just so I can show you guys the uh, ROM right now. And it should be just about done. Skippity scap skip. There we go and there we it is alright so just a plain black wallpaper right now um, looks pretty cool it looks like it's got this very much blue theme on it ooh there we go those are sweet check them out all your little quick toggles are very very nice looking um, got some fun stuff in here yep power saver I normally turn that one on airplane Wi-Fi hotspots flashlights built into it so definitely some cool customization right there. Um, let's see what else we have in here. So our basic stuff. I think, let me see, I think this is maybe where that bug is. Let's see if I can do this. Home screen. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Set that wallpaper and see if it, no, it does function. All right, so there you go. Basically, like I said, Galaxy S5 looking home uh, wallpaper. It does have add away, apps, ops. Okay, so there is uh, Exposed is in this as well, which is very nice. ES Fire Browser, again, love it. Um, always like that on my devices. There's your safe strap again. Let's see what version it should be. We'll grant, so it does. There you go. Super Sue does work. Go ahead and check it out. Yep, that is the version we're using. Um, network speed, you got some little applications there. Uh, pen window manager, a couple different messaging applications depending on what you want to use. Multi window manager built in, very, very nice. I got the exposed installer again. YouTube add away, don't use that. Don't, that's bad, don't use it. Let those YouTubers make their money. Leave them alone. Anyway, um, WANAM exposed, so a lot of exposed uh, modules in here, which is really cool, already pre installed. Definitely digging that. We'll go into settings. Again, themed in here. Um, looks like we got a, a Biggins additions for battery mods. You can see it's got a percentage and different stuff up there. Let's see if there's anything else you can. Oh, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Let's try this one. Yeah, sweet. Little like speedometer looking thing. Um, very, very cool. Definitely digging that. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Displays, messages, call blocking, default applications and application manager. That's cool. I like those separated like that. It's a little different than what I'm kind of used to. Let's see what else we got here. Hands free, blankety blank, motion, 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 developer options, about phone. We'll just go back in here again. You can see we're on KitKat, build number. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, it says build numbers, biggins, rounds, but. It is the uh, based on the NC2. So very cool. If you guys like Exposed, you're going to love this thing. It does look uh, pretty pretty sweet. Definitely got some fun features for your KitKat Galaxy Note 3. I'm sure there's more in there that I could go through that I'm not actually going through, but um, should be fully functional because it is based on stock. Big props to Deuce Biggins again. XDA for putting this little uh, ROM together for us. Very, very sweet. Stay tuned for more videos on the Galaxy Note 3. And uh, besides that, make sure you delete that application. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.
All right, I got a little PS here for extra credit. Just saw this, I thought it was wicked cool. Um, so check this out, if you scroll all the way over left, it goes to this thing that says left pull. Um, and you can basically select the application you want to launch when you pull all the way over here to the left. So we're gonna say, we're gonna launch, shoot, I don't know, camera maybe. All right. Oops, set his camera, go back, and then let's see if it launches it. There it does, and it launches the camera now every time you pull left, which is pretty cool. Um, and then one of the other things you can do here, let's see if I can show you, is you can do pull up too, so you can go like this. And now every time you swipe up, we're gonna go into settings and then hit home. And now swipe up and come on, I know settings is supposed to work here. Alright, so swipe up. If I can get settings to launch, there it goes. Took a second to apply it. Um, but now when you swipe up, you always go into settings. And when you swipe left, you always go to camera. So that's really cool. Again, that, that sli swiping swiping left though is only if you go all the way left. So if you're on your you know your home screen's right here, you swipe over over, and then the last screen will launch your camera. So um, very very cool. Definitely like that feature on this device. Um, just awesome added customization. Gotta love that kind of stuff. So there's your multi window stuff and all that goodies. Um, but very very cool. Again, big props to uh, Deuce Biggins. Awesome, awesome features in this round.